We're joined now by James O'Neill, the commissioner of the New York City Police Department. Commissioner, good morning. We really appreciate you taking time and being here. Let's start right there. There's, the, as I understand it, your officers are questioning this Uzbek man. There's also been reporting that perhaps the suspect had been taking drives in a truck similar to the one used with other people. Where, where's the thinking right now in terms of whether he acted alone? Who else you want to talk to? No, we're still not two days into the investigation, so this is all this is all part of uh, uh, the investigation as we go forward here. And we're uh, at the Joint Terrorist Task Force people, and they do a terrific job of, of talking to this man that they got last night. So uh, you know, we'll see as, as we go down the road uh, if he acted alone or, uh, or if he had or if he had some help. Still I mean, an open question. Yeah, yeah, it is. I mean, this is this is less than two days, yeah. so you know, this is an ongoing investigation. His wife cooperating. What have you learned from her? I really don't want to go into what she's talking about, uh, but uh, you know, we, uh, th that's part of when, unfortunately, when, when uh, events like this happen, that's, this is what we do. And you know, we talk to families, we talk to acquaintances, and we go, uh, go, that, go down that road as far as possible you know, to yeah. make sure we uh, see who was involved. It's alarming when we hear. Have you, by the way, been present during any of the questioning of the suspect in the hospital? No, no, no that's, that's uh, the, joint, the, the people in the Joint Terrorist Task Force, the FBI, our uh, NYPD detectives, they, they are experts at this. But when you hear that, that this guy thought about putting the ISIS flag on the front and back of this truck so that he could advertise as he was committing this horrible act and that he perhaps even wanted to hang an ISIS flag in his hospital room to show how proud he was of what he's done, how do you defend people against a warped mindset like that? Well, everybody's got to understand this is who we're dealing with. I mean, law enforcement does a terrific job, uh, NYPD officers every day, the four cops in the first precinct. But this is, uh, this is, this is going to take all 8.5 million people in New York City uh, to pay attention to what's going on around them. You know, maybe take off your headphones, maybe stop looking at your phone. Uh, see what's going on around you. And if you see something that doesn't look right, something that makes you un uncomfortable, and not, not you just should, you should call, I think you have an obligation to call. Give us the opportunity to investigate that threat, and that's how we're all going to uh, move forward here and keep the city safe. There's been reporting that he was remorseless, smug, wanted to hang this ISIS flag. Is that true? I, I wasn't in the room for these discussions, uh, and, and if it is true, again, this just, just shows everybody in New York and everybody in this country uh, who we're dealing with here. Let, let me ask you also, it's been reported that there were some 4,000 ISIS-related images found on his phone, about 90 ISIS-related propaganda videos. It's hard enough to tra track down a lone wolf, but, but should that level of interest in ISIS online have triggered some alert? Is there any system in place that would have worked there? And that, that's part of what we're going to look at here. Every time there's an incident, we have to learn from it. Uh, we have to evolve. We have to see what we can do better. So I think it's, uh, it's too early to say that. And Commissioner, I finally have to ask you, the president has been tweeting about this. One thing he said is that he, he believes and hopes the suspect will get the death penalty. Also called our justice system a joke and a laughing stock. How does that sit with you? Well, I, I get to work with our justice system every day. And in New York City, it's definitely not a joke. Look where we are as a city. Homicides are down. Shootings are down. Overall crime is down. That doesn't happen by accident. A lot of hard work by everybody involved in the criminal justice system. Officer Ryan Nash, you stopped this attack by shooting the terror suspect. Does he have any idea how, how big he came up in that moment? I think he's starting to realize it. I spoke to him on the day of the incident. Him and his partner, John Hasiotis, and uh, Officer Wilson and Officer McGinn were at Stuyvesant High School on an unrelated call. And somebody came in and said there was a uh, school bus accident outside, so they had no idea what they, were, uh, what they were about to face, and, and all four of them did an absolutely terrific job, as the men and women of the NYPD do each and every day. And made it, yeah, saved, saved a lot of people, I think. Sure did. Commissioner, thank you very thank much you for your time, Thanks. sir. Okay. Appreciate it. Hello, Today fans. Thanks for checking out our YouTube channel. Subscribe by clicking that button down there, and click on any of the videos over here to watch the latest interviews, show highlights, and digital exclusives.